We're going to be doing bigger and better trades coming up this week. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not being sneaky at all. No one, everyone can see you. Everyone can see you. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you're having a fantastic start to your week. Happy Tuesday to your faces. Uh, today's video is all about trading. I've been so excited. Well, I am excited. I've been looking forward to trading for quite some time in the Caterpillar. And today, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the day that it's going to happen. So yesterday's video, we uh, we did a little a delivery route. For starting off here at Grim Hex. Um, and it was a success. We actually did a full delivery route, 100% success rate. Uh, there was only one little issue that happened, and that was because I placed a box down over uh, at the orphanage, I believe it was, and I wasn't paying attention, and it fell, and I didn't, I didn't pay. I, I, I got confused. Okay, I was a little confused. Anyway, today we're all about trading. So we've made up enough money. Let's have a little look, see what we got. 101,000. That's enough for me to start. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with some little trades. I'm probably going to edit this video down a lot because I'm going to try and trade right now for about three hours. Um, I'm going to assume we're going to start off doing scrap. We're going to do a few, a few scrap runs, see if we can make some money. Because scrap runs in the Caterpillar is incredible. Um, so we're going to start off doing that and then we'll move on to the big boy trades towards the end. Hopefully towards the end we'll have a little bit of help in here with us. Um, I know Icy's supposedly going to be jumping on later today. Didn't get a chance to play with him yesterday, unfortunately, but today should be the day. So anyway, guys, I'm excited. How have you guys been? Anyway, you've been having some good luck. I've been looking at the org, and uh, the org seems to be having a lot of fun trading, making a lot of money. A lot of you guys are up to a million UEC already, which is fantastic. Um, also, yesterday's video, I was talking a little bit about the, um, the guys who are doing exploits, right? There's a lot of exploits going on. And um, as you guys know, with the red cards, and it, it's sad. It really is sad. They were doing it here at Grim Hex. I'll have a look in a minute to see if they're still up there doing it. But it, it's just a waste. Of, you're wasting your time. You're spending hours trading or, like, selling these little cards for 1,000 UEC. And it's just, it's sad. You're not playing the game. What are you going to do with those million UEC? Hey? Hey? Anyway... <laughs> That it is what it is. It is what it is. One thing I wanted to do real quick, actually, is shout out um, the referrals. I haven't talked about the referrals in a while, and I appreciate you guys. I think we're up to 28 referrals now, so I'll put them up on screen right here. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ah. Is that creepy? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for the referrals. Um, it really means a lot. And um, it's just awesome. The fact that I started this game, I keep saying a few months ago, but now we're almost at 100 uh, videos that I've uploaded. I think we're at like 95 or something like that, which is incredible. Um, the fact that people have bought this game after watching my videos is just, uh, thank you. I mean, that's awesome. I'm glad you bought it. I'm glad you're back in the game. Or back in, I shouldn't say bought. You're back in the game. And I hope you're enjoying it. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below how you guys, if you did use my code to buy the game, how are you liking it? How are you liking the game? Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And uh, yeah, to more days. I don't know what I'm trying to say. The more the merrier. And I'll see you guys in the verse, hopefully. I've already seen quite a lot of you in the verse. And it's awesome when I bump into you. But um, yeah. Oh. I hear a ship. Someone's out there doing something. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for the referrals. I appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying the game, consider using my code down below. You get 5,000 UEC to start off. A little bonus. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much again. I appreciate you. I also wanted to say thank you uh, to all the members of the channel by hitting that join button down below. I appreciate you guys also. If it wasn't for you, I don't know. I mean, it, it really does help out the channel a lot. Um, you don't have to do it, of course, but I really do appreciate it. It helps me um, continue to do this daily, something that I love doing, and I appreciate you more than you know. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to jump into this. Let's um, let's continue. We need to trade. We need to go get the Caterpillar, and I'm in the wrong place for the Caterpillar, obviously, because I can't pull out the Caterpillar here. Um, so we're going to have to go over to Port Alisar. Um, so yeah, let's do that. I'll meet you guys at Port Alisar. All right, guys, we are here at Port Alisar. 
Didn't take. Oh, look at that caterpillar over there. Uh, nice little hop, skip, and a jump for this thing. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing left to do is go get the uh, caterpillar and start trading. <laughs> oh, <laughs> double O Club, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Ah, oh, so what I've done is, well, obviously I pulled out the ship. But what I was gonna say to you guys, hold on, Wait, let's see. I want to see it. There she bloody is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I don't have a weapon, as you can see, on me. But we're not going trading anywhere like crazy. Um, so we're gonna do some little baby trades to start off. We're gonna get some scrap. We're gonna go to my favorite place to get scrap first of all, which I believe is her L3. I'll show you all that when we get in the ship. Um, but wow, I didn't, I'm, I'm, this is my <laughs> first trade, like proper trade in the Caterpillar in like months. Because as you know, in 3.8, my, my ship wasn't, it was bugged. I couldn't get it. Um, so I'm excited. Let's get in it. Man, everything about this ship just makes me happy. Thanks, Kaz, once again. This is the Caterpillar, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Caterpillar. <laughs> we're bloody here. You have joined the channel. Oh my god. It's just great. Have you ever seen one of these on fire from the inside? I, hopefully that doesn't happen today. Um, but they look incredible when they're on fire. <laughs> There's a little spot right here. This spot. Like the batteries. Uh, the fire coming out. It's just... I don't know. As beautiful as this ship is, it's just as beautiful when it's destroyed. Alright. So where we're going to be going today is, like I said, we're going to do some baby trades. Baby, baby, baby trades. Uh, we're going to start off on her L3, I believe it's called. So I'll show you what that is right now. Hello. So the quickest one is obviously crew L1, right? Boom, boom, boom. We'll do that second. But for first one, we're going to go to her L3. I don't know why I like this one more. It's further, but you know what? We're going to try it for the first one. Come back, sell, and then we'll go to crew L1. That's what I think we'll do. Oh, God, it feels good to be back. <laughs> oh, baby. I love this ship so bloody much. I love this thing so much. My best in show. Absolute beauty. Oh, feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. All right, let's get on out of here. <laughs> I don't know why. It's oh, I'm so excited. All right. Oh, listen to those engines. I'm so glad the spool now is so much faster. If you remember the Caterpillar in 3.7, the handling was so much better, but the spool took forever. Now, the spool takes really short amount of time, but the handling is quite potato, if I'm being honest. But maybe we can combat that if we overpower, if we overclock the thrusters. Maybe that'll help. I'm not sure. We could try that eventually, but as of right now, that's not what we're doing. But anyway, guys, I'll meet you at her L3. All right, guys, we're coming up to her L3 right in front of us. You can see the red lights flashing there in the distance. Look at this. This is what I love about trading. Like, people... Not a lot. A lot of people love trading. I'll give it to you. A lot of people love trading. But there is a few people that say it's boring. I just... This, for me, is just so much fun. Like, even just this part. You know what I mean? There's the station in the distance. We're going to be coming in on the left-hand side. But just this part. You know what I mean? Like, coming in... <laughs> is it weird? Am I weird? Just the approach to where you're going to trade is just so much fun for me. Like, we're coming in to pick up our cargo. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you guys when we get a little closer. So we're going to be coming in over here. There is a pirate there by the looks of it. Cutlass Black. Empty seat unknown. Alright. But we're going to be coming in over here. Let's see if we can hail yet. I don't think I'm close enough. Oh, there we go. I only ever hail with the onboard computers. I never go into the Moby Glass. We should be coming into Hangar 1 right here. I won't be showing you the landings of every single trade we do because obviously this is my first trade. I don't know how far we are into this video. But uh, I'm sure not everyone wants to see me take off and land every single time. But, oh, this Hangar. I've missed Hangar 1. I've missed you so much. Oh my god. All right, we're in. We're going to do auto land. I need to get back into the habit of auto landing. Simply because when you're trading, you have a lot of money on board, typically. We have nothing right now, but I always want to make sure I'm doing auto land. Oh, we're back. <laughs> ah, we're back, baby. <laughs> we're here. All right. So this is, like I say, I keep repeating myself, but this is the first trade I've done in a while. I'll walk you through all of this, and then we'll do the little trade. 
the closer one. And, uh, yeah. Where's all the security? Hey, you guys are working on the ships. Where's security? They're usually hanging out right here, aren't they? Or is that only at, uh... Is that only on the planets? What's going on, bro? Doing some deliveries, I see. All right, what's going on, Kaz? How you doing? All right. This is Kaz, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Um, okay, set location. We are going here. We are filling scrap. I'm going to assume 70... 74,000? 76,000? 77. Okay. It's, I'm a little rusty, okay? 77,000. That's a full caterpillar. Uh, we should profit. Okay, we're at 23. How much did I start off with? 101. So we'll see what we're at after this. But I'm assuming we're going to be at about... I'm guessing about 27,000 profit. 28,000 profit. We'll see. All right. Engines online. Let's get on out of here, ladies and gents. <laughs> All right. We got a full cap. 77 grand worth. This is my favorite trades to do in a cat. They're just so... They're low cost. 77,000. Um, and a pretty decent reward. You do three of these and you've paid off. Uh, you double... <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm excited. But this is, this is going to be awesome. All right. Looks like we are clear for takeoff. Let's put those little feet up. All right, Port Alasaf, I remember. It's right over here. We never even have to do a marker. All right, I was a little off. A little rusty, okay? A little rusty. All right, guys. I'll meet you guys back at Port Alasaf unless something exciting happens, which I can't imagine because it's a very short hop, skip, and a jump. I'll meet you back at P.O. Hopefully, there's no pad rammers. That's the one thing you need to worry about when you're doing these trades. But I've never, knock on wood, had any issues with uh, pad rammers, to be honest with you, at Port Alasar, so... I mean, I have, but not while I've had a full caterpillar. So, just FYI. Coming in nice and slow. We do have... We are going to do auto landing, obviously. Automated landing. Oh, it's going to flip us around. That's, that's new. Okay. I don't think I've ever had this thing flip me around like this before. Is this new? Yeah, this is setting me down all nicely. I'll take it. Usually it just puts you down, but now we're going to be closer. All right, I rate it. I like it. Okay. Have a pleasant stay. All right. We will put our shields to 100 just in case. Yeah, that is new. Usually it always, or in the past, it's always plopped me down facing forwards. Or facing the direction I came in on. It's kind of cool that it turns you around, though. It does make it a little bit faster to get in and out. All right, guys. Here we go. First trade in the Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Let's see what we can get. All right. I'm hoping. I mean, we know what it's going to be. I think it's going to be about 26,000. Uh, sell. Boom, boom. 104. It's always 104. You buy for 77, sell for 104. So, yeah, 26,000. Just over 26, almost 27,000. <gasps> I'll take it. All right. That was awesome. Okay. So, that was our first trade in the Caterpillar. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll jump over. I'll show you where we're going real quick. So, like I say, we'll go to the closer one this time just because it profit, obviously. We want to be able to just get in and out. So, we're going to go to Crew L1 and back. Uh, this should be a really quick trip, but I will meet you guys at Crew L1. All right, guys. We're here at Crew L1. Um... Oh, coming in a little too quick there. Uh, we're here at Crew L1. So I'm actually timing this because I wanted to show you guys how long it takes um, to get to Crew L1 and back to PO. So we'll take a look at that in a second. Yeah, so I'm timing it. So I just wanted to see from where we just were at the kiosk at PO to here and back to the kiosk. I'm timing that. Um, this time I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit slower just because I was, you know, I wasn't 100% sure where the... Um, where the hangar was for this one. So I took like, I mean, not a long time, but at least like a minute trying to figure that out. So, but we'll figure it out. All right, I'll meet you guys inside. All right, admin's office right here. Okay, I've got to remember where these are. What's going on, Kaz? All right, so let's see. Sell, buy, that's what I'm doing. Caterpillar, scrap, 77K. 73, oh, oh, 79, a little bit more expensive here. And we're probably going to sell it for the same, which is 74. Interesting. Okay. All right, now that we have it, why is there two of these in here? All right, now that we have it, we need to get back. So it's been 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes since I left. This trip should be, in all honesty, like a 10-minute round trip. Obviously, the admin's offices are further away now. 
So you gotta keep that in mind for how long it takes to get in and out of these places. This trip used to, in 3.7, would take 10 minutes. Round trip. So this is definitely, it's already been 10 minutes. So it's already a little bit longer. Maybe I should upgrade my quantum drive. I think that'll help. And also, once I, you know, learn my way around these new, these new um, rest stops, that'll help too. But it's definitely longer. Looks like we chose the right hangar though. Hangar one. Good to know. All right, here we go. We're back in PO, ladies and gentlemen. No issues so far. Everything is hunky-dory. Let's see if it's going to flip me over again. Let's see if that's actually a thing. You know what I mean? Because that's the first time I've done a trade in 3.8. So we'll see. Ah, shush. Yeah, it's flipping me around again. Look at that. All right, good to know. It flips you now. A lot of people used to tell me when I used to trade in 3.7 to come in from the back so that I would land in this direction so it's faster. But now it's good to know that the auto land in a caterpillar actually flips you around uh, to land in this position. So that's cool. All right, we're back at the console. So that was just under 20 minutes. Okay, so that was about 17 minute round trip, which it used to be 10 minutes. I Honestly, I think it was like 10 minute round trip. So that's it's definitely gone up a little bit. Um, but I think since the quantum drives and everything's changed, I think that'll, um, and this one's more expensive too. The other place was uh, a few thousand cheaper. Good to know. All right, so we're 153. So we made 52,000 already today, which is much better, right? It's much better than deliveries. I mean, keep in mind, you have to have a caterpillar. So, I mean, I, I understand not everyone has a caterpillar. But uh, this is why I, I stopped doing deliveries. After I've done my big round trip where I make like 100 grand, then it's straight to trade in scrap. And then after we've built up quite a little bit of money, uh, a bit of cash in scrap, then we jump over to, you know, maybe some titanium we'll probably do next. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now, so that was, I said, uh, like a 17, 18 minute round trip. I'm going to meet you guys right back in this location. I'm going to go to the far one, the L3 one that we did first. I'm going to go pick up some scrap and I'll meet you guys right back here. And I'm going to time that and see how long that takes. All right. So right now we're going to start and um, I'll meet you guys right back here. All right, guys, we're back. I'm selling this really quick because there's some pirates out there. And uh, I hope there's no pad rammers. So I'm just going to try and sell this really quick. 104, sell, got it. Okay, go ahead. Pad ram me, bro. All right, 180 grand. We've already made 80 grand today or 79 grand. All right, guys. So from here back to here, it actually took 17 minutes. 17 minutes exact, which is what I thought that the short distance one was, which doesn't make any sense. I'm actually going to shave off a minute. So I'm going to say 16 minutes it took. Uh, because over at Crew L3, there was an issue, or her L3, wherever we just were, um, the hailing wasn't working. I had to sit outside for like a minute to get the hailing to work. So, let's say 16 minutes. So, because of those findings, I'm actually going to do the short one again. And I'll meet you guys back here. Because I'm curious to see, there's no way they're the same amount of time. The other one's much further. Okay, so let's start here. We're still here. Um, okay, we're going to start now. Alright guys, I'm, we're back. Let me just sell this stuff real quick. Just in case there's any pad rammers or in case anything goes down. Got it. Boom. 203. So, all right. So, we've made 100 grand today. Um, okay. So, we had... There was a few... There were some issues over there. I'm sure you guys saw. Pirates bloody all over the place. All right. So, that took 12 minutes. 12 minutes versus 16 minutes. So, it's definitely quicker. But it costs 5 grand more. Why would you get pay 5 grand more for those 4 minutes? Um, for me personally, I prefer the Crew L3. Is it Crew L3? So this is the one we just did, Crew L1. No, it's her, her L3. I just prefer it. It's further away, it's cheaper, but it's only four minutes difference. And once I upgrade my quantum drive in this ship, um, we should be good. So we'll upgrade the quantum drive probably this week, um, so we can see what the difference is there. But wow, 100 grand. All right, so now we're at 200k. And my boy Icy has joined us. Well, he hasn't joined me yet, but he's inside the server here somewhere. So we're going to find Icy. What the plan is now is to do some little bigger trades. Obviously, we've got a little bit more money. See what we can profit. The thing is, so you look at scrap, it's about 79 grand down. Let's say 80 grand down, you get, let's say, 30 grand back. It's a pretty low cost, pretty high reward uh, trade to do. Um, but when you start doing, let's say you think, oh, well, I can put a hundred grand in on, say, titanium, but you don't get as much back. For example, if you do, like, a hundred grand of diamond, um, you're gonna get, like, 20, about 22,000 back 
which is nowhere near as good as putting 80 grand in and getting 30 grand back. To start making profit in the Caterpillar, you're gonna have to do more money. So for, so for example, 200 grand worth of diamonds, you're looking at about close to 52,000 profit, which is more up my alley. So theoretically, I should do some more trading back and forth, uh, doing what I'm doing now that I have 200 grand. Do I really wanna put 200 grand down right away? Uh, probably not, but it's 51,000 profit, which is really nice. But again, you're putting 200 grand down for 50 when you can just put 30 grand down for 30. So it's not until you get into the big numbers where the Caterpillar starts making big profit. So again, using the diamonds as an example, 200 will get you um, like 50. If you put 300,000 of diamond down, you're looking at like a $77,000 uh, profit, which is awesome. So that's where we're going to be leading up to. But for now, let me meet up with IC and I'll get back to you guys in just a second. IC, ladies and gentlemen, welcome him to the party. Here he is. I have a beer. Everything is fine. Outside is World War Three again. Surely that thing's got no chance against this. Look how many bullets are coming out of that thing. I go outside and enter this viper. We're going to see what the bloody hell ice is up to. Oh my god, what is happening back there? Look at this What madness. is happening? People are losing their minds today. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what Icy's gonna do. Wait, who are they all shooting at? This guy's shooting at someone down there. They're all shooting at the Cutlass. Obviously, the Valkyrie is the good one. What happens when an, uh, if an AI kills me? Let's, let's, let's test. Is that an AI? I think so. Oh, it stopped firing in my direction. Interesting. I've never seen an AI in a Valkyrie before. A little uh, distracted from the trading right now, guys. We'll, we'll be right back. Let's see what's happening up here. I've never seen an AI Valkyrie. Only as Bounty. Look at this mean guy. Is there someone in this turret too? They're yeah, both the same. I've got no way to get in because we are in Armistice. All right, well that was fun. Nothing happening. I didn't know uh -huh. that the AI had Valkyries. How did he get down that much faster than me? All right, guys, we're about to crash. Local channel disbanded. I'm back in main menu. It's been good knowing yet. I'll see you guys in a second. 30k incoming, and there it is. <laughs> ah! All right, guys, we're just getting some fuel here. Should take a second. We're heading back over to her L3 with Icy. Uh, we're testing to see... What the hell was that that just flew by up there? Uh, we're testing to see how it is in a party. Because sometimes in a party, at least in 3.8, disconnects were quite an annoying occurrence. Um, so we're going to test it out with Icy. We're going to do a small run. Uh, what we've been doing, we're going to go to her L3, see if we can pick it up and drop it back off here easily. Uh, if that works, the next plan is we're going to do some diamond, okay? But first of all, let's get to her L3. All right, guys, we're here at Crew L3. Uh, we're just going to auto land this bad boy. There's been a few issues with the hailing, I've noticed. I don't know if you guys are noticing that too, where you hail and it just doesn't work. So you have to cancel it, rehail, and it seems to work okay. But, wow, this lighting is terrible. <laughs> All right, guys, we are headed back to Crusader. So far, so good. Everything's been smooth. Uh, like I say, this is more of a test to see how it's like in a party. Um, I didn't want to do any big, big trades, so I thought I'd do another one of these, and it seems to be okay. So we may move over to Diamond. Um, we may need a little bit more money, though, but mm, we'll see. We'll see. We should have about 230k after this. All right, guys, here we bloody well go. Sell this thing real quick. Make sure no pad rammers are coming. Scrap. Sell. Got it. Boom. 226k. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Where's Icy gone? All right, guys, we are going to go do diamond. Uh, we're going to test out some diamonds, see if we can uh, have a good little party here. Or have a have a party run with Icy in the turrets. And we'll see what happens. Now the cargo hold is completely full, and I cannot get to the turret. Can you get there from up here? No, it, the, the way from module 1 to module 2 is blocked on the upper stairway. Uh, or anyway, uh, I only can go through the middle, and this is blocked by the crates now. 
Yeah, I want to see what it looks like. Uh, we are full of scrap. You see, you don't get through. That's weird. It's weird, yeah. So this is an issue. This is an issue, especially for the Murphy's Law Trading Company. When we're trying to trade, there's an invisible barrier right here. That we can't get through. So whoever's the gunner really can't leave the ship. And you can't get there from down here because the doors are all blocked. So the front turret is non-usable if you have cargo inside. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I should refuel. That's fine. We should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to do stims. Now stims are a pain in the ass because you can only sell them in small quantities. Um, and it's not worth it. Like what we're about to do is not worth it. But I feel like for the sake of the video, we need to do something other than, you know, doing research, uh, not research, um, doing scraps. So we're going to do stims from Deacon's Research on Yella to Lawville. Um, and we should profit about 35,000, which isn't worth it when you can just profit about 30k doing scrap. And the amount of time it's going to take me to do this from, you know, Yella to Lawville, I could do two runs of scrap for like 60k. But for the sake of the video, we'll do one run and we'll see what it's like. Tomorrow, we can start trading more. Once I've hit 300,000, we can do big runs. Um, so that's what we'll start doing. But this is my first trades, obviously, being back in the Caterpillar. I wanted to just do, um, wanted to get the ball rolling. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're going to test this out. It's going to be a good test anyway to see if we can do this in a party without the game crashing. Um, so this is our first big test. We're going to be putting 100k down. All right, I'll meet you guys down there. All right, guys, we're coming in. This is Deacon's. Deacon's Research on Yella. Just for those of you guys who are following along. Um, we're going to be getting 100,000 worth of stims, if possible. And we're going to be selling at Lawville. Look how beautiful this area is. Probably shouldn't do that. Don't want to crash. I had enough crashing yesterday. Look at that mountain on my left, though. That looks sick. Came in a lot faster than I thought. Yeah, I was thinking. I was expecting to hit the ground. I've got freaking... What's it called on? That's why. I had decoupled mode on. Ah, okay. Alright guys, we've landed. Had a little bit of an issue there. I um, I just realized I had my shields on 100% too, so that's my bad. But we I had to couple again, mode on. Of course. What do you say? We have a storm again, of course. Nice. Yeah, I had to couple mode on by accident, guys. So that's what happened there. My bad. Bloody storms, man. <laughs> Oh, it wouldn't be a video, would it, if it wasn't a storm on one of these planets? So that's good to know, though, for trading. Like, the gunner can't get back into the turrets once you sell because of the bug. So once we buy it, luckily, he can get in it. Um, so it's not mu as much of an issue, but... <laughs> God. What is up? I wonder where Icy is. Hmm. Sorry for yelling at you, by the way, the other day, bro. Your machine's not working very well. And it just wasn't fun for me. Come back later. I won't come. I won't be coming back later. That's for sure. But anyway, all right, guys, we're here for the stims. Stims. We're only gonna do a hundred k worth, just in case, because we're doing a test. We're doing a test. All right, so we're at two two six seven two nine. It's taking a while to process this order, which always gives me anxiety. Okay, there we go. Hundred grand worth done. So we're going to Lawville, mainly because they can actually sell it there. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about waiting for hours because they can only sell a few units at a time. This place has 200,000 worth of inventory. Um, so we should be... Well, well, we'll figure that out in a minute, but we should be good to go. Now the ship should be empty, which is weird. When you sell it, it's full, and when it's empty, it's just... It's all backwards right now. But Icy should be able to get into the top turret. Can you get into the turret? Yeah. All right, Night Raven, I'm sure you're watching this. This is good to know that when you fill up a cat, we have these issues. So let's remember this for when we do uh, when we do these org meets and things, or org practice. The person in the turret has to stay in the turret. Otherwise, in a real-life scenario, they're not going to be able to get back in. All right, guys, here we go. We are this heading over to Lawville. The one thing I love about the Caterpillar is the amount of fuel this thing. It's just the best ship in the game. All right, guys, here we go. Heading to Hurston. Meet you guys as soon as we get there. Unless anything happens along the way, which I can't imagine. But, uh, 
yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. Alright, guys, we're going into Lawville. Fingers crossed, this jumps. I haven't been to Lawville in like a month. Last time I was here, I'm pretty sure my ship crashed into the planet. So, we're not going all the way around the planet, though. We're only going down to Lawville. But this doesn't matter, okay? It still could be an issue. Looks good, looks good. So far, so good. Now we're coming down. Everything looks everything looks good. A okay. I love that there's water right next to it now in Edmund. It looks cool. All right. Looks good. Now we've just got to make sure we don't crash. I like how the game knows. You hear the music it's playing me right now? <laughs> it's so like dun, dun, dun. It knows I'm coming in. It knows I'm going to crash. Should be playing happy music on my arrival into Hurston. I hate landing here, guys. Front impact this was close. Starboard impact warning. Front impact warning. Can I do manual? Automated landing. Boom. Yeah, the automated landing is a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys saw that crash. That wasn't me. That was the automated landing. All right, guys, we actually made it. Hopefully, it doesn't say I'm blocking an active flight bay because that would be a pain in the butt. But I think we're good. We made it to Lawville, ladies and gentlemen. We bloody well made it. I haven't been to Lawville in like a month. What the bloody hell's happening here? What is here <laughs> happening? Hey, my We're gonna we're all gonna join in. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Oh my god! They need to fix this. They need to fix it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's a central business district, ladies and gents. You know what? Lawville is better. Oh, you better be quick. Lawville's better than Arcorp. <laughs> I think, to get in here. I say that all the time, though. I love R Corp as well. When I was at R Corp last, I said that Lawville... I said that R Corp was better. Now that I'm at R Corp, I say that Lawville's better. I'm just... Nothing can please me, okay? Nothing. All right, guys. The next stop, Central Station. We're going to be selling these stims. Hopefully, uh, we can sell them all in one go. Because this place has the most... This place in R Corp has the biggest um, storage for stims. So, fingers crossed. Everything will go okay. This place reminds me of Disney. I don't know why. It's just like the rides when you go to Disney and you have all the... I don't know. Alright, we're going to the left, I believe. I love, like, the black marble, though, and everything. But I like Art Corp's white and gold, too. This just reminds me when I first started playing this game. And I crashed, or well, the server crashed when I was trading 90 grand. And I was, like, devastated in my cutlass black. All of it? 124. 24 grand. That's not good at all. Yeah, that was terrible. That was 20... What is Icy doing up there? <laughs> that was 24 grand, guys. Not worth at all. Not in the... <laughs> Not in the slightest. I mean, you could trade 79,000 of scrap and make 28,000. Or you could trade 100,000 worth of stims and make 24,000. Not worth it at all. This wasn't really, like I say though, this wasn't really about the amount. Um, obviously, the bigger, the more money you have, that's when the caterpillar really comes into play. It's amazing to do in scrap. And it's amazing when you start doing like 300,000 plus. Uh, but for little trades, like 100, 200,000, it's not worth it. Once you get to 300,000, that's when it's worth it. That was terrible. Why? We're not able to sell everything? No, I sold it all. But? But I sold it. Guess how much I got for that? I put 100,000 in. <laughs> when you're so pissed off, you only got 105? <laughs> No, it wasn't that bad. I got, I made profit from that run was 24,000, which is less than the scrap. 
Wow, that's only 30% of the what it should have. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. Um that was not what I expected at all. It was pretty bad, actually. Uh, 24 grand we got for that trade. But like I say, I'm not worried. We made a profit. We didn't crash. That's definitely the most important thing. Um, but yeah, it was just a little little crappy. That's all. 24k. <laughs> That's pathetic. Why does Aberdeen Hurston look like he's just giving... All of them. Look at them all giving me the death stare. I see you looking at me weird. And you too. Just... Just, they're looking at me weird. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my introduction to trading in 3.8.1. Um, like, my personal introduction. And we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Let's see how much we made. So, we're at 251. We started off at 101. So, I mean, we made 150,000. That isn't bad at all. I loved the Caterpillar so, so much. Thanks again, Kaz. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kaz is the one that donated or gifted the Caterpillar to the channel. Um, right when we started playing this game. So thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do these trade runs in the first place. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be doing bigger and better trades coming up this week. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not being sneaky at all. No one, everyone can see you. Everyone can see you. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing bigger and better trades this week. It was great to have Icy come along, especially when you're doing the more stressful ones, like this one was. I mean, the profit wasn't stressful, but, you know, trading 100k, going over to Hurston, to Lawville, a little stressful. Um, so it's good to have a gunner on board. But yeah, anyway, this week, better, bigger, better trades coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on the ding-dong notification bell. If you do want to see when we upload videos and when I post videos, um, I try to post videos daily. So yeah. Thank you again for all the recruits. Thank you again to all the members of the channel hitting that join button. Um, if that's something that you're interested in to support the channel further than you already do, it's that button down below. You don't have to, um, but I appreciate every single one of you that has. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.